Three cougar kittens are getting a chance for a new life here in Minnesota. They were orphaned in Washington State last month. WCCL's Mariel Moe shows us how a Minnesota sanctuary is helping to save them. Tucked away in a small northern town of Sandstone are 116 wild cats. It's a free roaming habitat with pine trees, perches to climb. This sanctuary is exactly that, a permanent home where safety for these animals is never in question. We're not here to make them pets. We're not here to make them love us. We're here to give them the most quality home. The sanctuary's executive director, Tammy Thies, says they're adding three small new members. This is video of the three cougar cubs, two brothers and a sister, arriving in Minnesota from Washington State. They were found abandoned underneath someone's home. Washington Game and Fish had 48 hours to place these cubs in a permanent home or they would be euthanized. At that moment, the clock started ticking and it was a race for time to get them here to Minnesota. So now they're here. Got a couple little mats back here. One by one, going under anesthesia to get checked for injuries and illnesses and to be spayed and neutered. This is the littlest of the three cubs, just under 40 pounds, but at full size, he will be around 150 pounds. The three siblings will stay together because without their mom, they need the sanctuary. They would be with mom up to two years old, learning to hunt learning how to um, defend their own territory. The three cubs will eventually join 10 other cougars like this one and this one in a climate cougars love. Snow, trees, the four seasons, they are going to really enjoy what Minnesota has to offer them. The cougars will remain in quarantine until they move out here to their new home outside in early spring. You can track and monitor their growth here at the Wildcat Sanctuary by following their Facebook page. Reporting in Sandstone, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. You can help name the three cougar cubs. Just go to the sanctuary's Facebook page, and we have a link to that at WCCO.com. They're going to pick the names next week.